Hello everyone, Nisarg here from Data Mites. So today's NumPy interview question is that how to put values from a NumPy array over another NumPy array at certain positions. So basically you have a NumPy array which is having some values and you need to put those values over another NumPy array at a certain index positions. So how do we do it? Let's see. So for that, I'll import my numpy as np. Then I'll create one array. I'll call this to be arr1 array1 equals to np.array. And uh, I'll give certain values to it. Let's say 23, 12, 65, 34. 76 and 98. So this is a one dimensional numpy array. Let me run it and let me print my array itself. So this is numpy array having six different values. Let's say I have another numpy array and let me create, I'll say np dot array and then I'll put some numbers, let's say four, five, and six. So it's only having like three values in your array two. Run it. Now I can check my array two as well. There you go. We have four, five, six as it is, okay. Now let's say I want to put this values of my array two over array one itself over a certain index position. Let's say I want to put the value of four over the index position of one, five at the index position of three, and six at the index position of five. So how do we do it? For that, I'll select my array one, and I'll simply say dot put, and then I'll take a list and in that list, I have to specify the index positions where these values are going to be kept over the array. So if I say, let's say I start with this one. So I'll say first index position. So let me write first, then I want to put it over here. So let me say third index position. And then I want to put it over here. So let's say five index fifth index position as such. And after that, finally, I'll say comma, and then I'll simply say array two. So what essentially is happening that the array two, which is holding three values are going to get placed over the index position one, three, five of array one. Now, if I run this, it executed, but it didn't return me any value. It means something has happened at the back end. Let's see if something has changed for my array one or not running my array one. And as, as I could see that at the first index position, the value came to be four at the third index position, the value came to be five and at the fifth index position, the value came to be six. And those are the value from your array. Two. This is how we can put the values from one array over the other array at a certain index position. Okay. Thank you.